Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Ozenator and I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Minecraft texture packs. So first what you want to do is find where the original texture pack is. I'm on the Mac, so for me it's in the library, application support, Minecraft, bin. For Windows it will be in your app data files, then in Minecraft, then in bin. This is the file you want, and you want minecraft.jar. So it's a good thing to make a backup of that, so I'm just going to drag it to the desktop to make a copy. And what you want to do is you want to open it up so you can get all the files. This will give you a, a folder called Minecraft. Inside here, you'll find all the files which the original containing the original texture pack. There's lots of weird class files as well as some folders such as or pictures such as this particles you can see the original you can see the original particles or the terrain picture you can see the original terrain. So what you want to do is you want to edit these files just by opening them with Photoshop or any editing program you've got. Do what you want with them, such as using the pencil tool probably. I'm going to zoom in quite far so you can see all the pixels and then just paint on whatever you want. I'm obviously not doing it properly at the moment. And then, once you finish editing them, you want to, I can't show you this right now because I'm on a Mac, you want to use WinRAR to put these edited files back into the JAR file. To do this, you open the JAR file, but you don't unpack it, you just open it. And then you drag and drop the new files into the original Minecraft JAR and then put that JAR back in where I showed you where it originally was in the Minecraft folder, in the bin folder put it back there and the next time you run Minecraft it will be your new texture pack so that was the Windows side, now I'm going to show you properly because I can, because I'm on the Mac and luckily for Macs there is an easy tool someone's created because I've, I was having some trouble opening the JAR files without unpacking them. Some guy called iPod Touch Dude on the Minecraft forums created a Minecraft jar tool which is very useful so I recommend you go download that. Once you've downloaded it just open it up. First thing it tells you to do is make a backup. It's very useful if you've forgotten I've already done that. Then it tells you you can open the jar file without unpacking it. So I'm going to click that. This will give you this folder which is the same as if you unpacked the JAR yourself but it's got a special name so that the program recognizes it when it in the next step. So if you're on a Mac just open this folder up, go into the different places, edit the files. I made a, a thing here which has all the all the things I could find which you can edit, such as the you can change what the armor looks like, the different artwork in the game, you can change the clouds or the user interface, even change the font if you really want to, like make it black text instead of white, change the different items, change uh, this stuff, like the color of the water, change what the mobs look like, which is quite interesting. Uh, change the moon and the sun and obviously the terrain as I showed you before which is most of the blocks. So once you've in here, once you've found all those, edit them, save them. Just as an, as an example, I'm going to edit the terrain pack. Picture I mean, terrain.png in Photoshop. I'm just going to 
once it's open, there we go. I'm just going to zoom in. And my house is made of wood, so let's just go in and edit the wood block. Just gonna, just so I've got the wood block, just the wood block. Just gonna select it with this tool. Just gonna copy that bit onto a new layer. Just gonna go image adjustments. Let's say I just want to make it a bit look a bit different, maybe a bit brighter, maybe a bit darker. So we've got dark wood instead of light wood. Just gonna click OK. Um, anything else I can do? Let's say I want the grass to be a different colour. I don't know why I'd want that, but Let's just do an example, blue grass, pu pu uh, purple grass, sorry. So I'm just going to click and paint all this green stuff in. And then once you've done that, I'm just going to save it. Go save for web and devices, make sure it's a PNG, and then save it. You want to save it, it's the same name, in this case it's terrain.png save it in there and replace the original file so just and also I think I'm gonna change let's say the sun see what we can do with this I'm just I'm not taking my time obviously you can spend a lot more time making these look a lot better this is just an example of what you can do in a short space of time make it a squiggle. Hopefully this works. I tried doing the sun before and it didn't work out but let's see this time. So we're going to go save web again, make sure it's PNG, make sure it's called sun and I saved it in the wrong place I think. Yep. So that just shows you, you've got to be careful where you put things. You've got to make sure it's in the terrain folder and make sure it asks you whether you want to replace it. So now, because I made that mistake, I'm going to have to go back in here, look for sun, and delete one of them. Nah. There you go, it's this one. So I've only got one sun, now. that's good. So now we're going to go back to this folder, back to this program. You see the original folder it created is still there, it's unchanged. And the last step is to recompile the minecraft.jar from that folder. So I'm going to click recompile now. That folder will disappear. It will go off into the minecraft folder and it's, it's now that. That's the new texture pack I just created. So to test it, just going to launch up Minecraft. Log in. As you can see, if I go on texture packs, it still thinks it's the default. But if I actually go on my world, you'll see it's actually the new texture pack with <laughs> lots of blue everywhere and a squiggly sun and the dark wood which I was and that's the original and that's the new dark wood so this is Mr. Ozenator just showing you how easy it is to make your own Minecraft texture packs if you enjoyed the tutorial please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out any of my future videos give it a favourite and a like if you think it's worth it